Hello and welcome to Wednesday's lesson. Lovely to see you. Let's begin with a speed write. Could you please write the following words? As No Mum One Them Do Me Down Dad Big. You might need to pause some of that and then come back and check your spellings please. Well done. Okay, let's read some words which have adjacent consonants. Those are consonants that are next to each other and you're very familiar with these. So the adjacent consonants here are um, L and F, and they have separate phonemes. So, uh, uh, up, uh, t, t. Let's read them together. Golf, melt, gulp, milk. Drift, plump, blend, and stunt. Well done. So we are going to be thinking about alternative pronunciations for the grapheme Y. Turn to your partner and tell them three words which begin with the phoneme Y, spelt with a Y. Well done. Perhaps you thought of some of these. Let's read them together. Yes, yellow, yelps, yet, yesterday. Another alternative pronunciation for the grapheme Y is E. Let's read these words together. Very happy. Funny, carry, hairy, smelly, lolly. Could you please write very, lolly, and carry? Pause and then come back. Well done. Check your spellings. Fantastic. And another alternative pronunciation for the phoneme Y is I. Let's read some words. Gym, crystal, pyramid, Lynn, that's the name of a girl, signet and mystery. Could you please write Jim? Lynn and mystery. Well done. Pause and then come back. Check your spellings. Did you notice that there are two different phonemes for the grapheme Y here in mystery? So the first Y has the phoneme I, M, I, St, R, E. And the last Y has the phoneme E. Well done. And finally, there's an alternative pronunciation for the grapheme Y, and it's I. Let's read some words. By, my. So that's I sat by the river and had a picnic. Not by, because by is B Y E. My, try, why, dry, fry, and spy. Well done. Could you please write try, why, and buy. Pause and then come back. Well done. Could you please check your spellings? Fantastic. 
and let's read our spelling of uh, our sentences together. I must try to carry weights at the gym. I must try to carry weights at the gym. Pause and then come back. Well done. Did you remember the quad graph here? We learned this a couple of weeks ago. E I G H. Weights. Those big heavy things that you lift at the gym. Okay. And the last sentence. Lynn is a spy and took my happy crystal. Oh dear. Lynn is a spy and took my happy crystal. Pause and then come back. Well done. Check your spelling please. Fantastic. And your words. They're over here, so just one moment. Oh dear, I thought they were over there and they're not. Oh, they're on the floor. Here we are. Silly me. Okay, so we've got some words with um, adjacent consonants. Let's, uh, so I would like you please to write um, one sentence for each of these words so that you're really consolidating. That means really practicing and revising everything that you've learnt over the past few months. Well done. Have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.